Trucker Rudy here. I uh, just went to uh, went back to the plant where I dropped my trailer last night and uh, uh, went and checked all the trailers up there and uh, they didn't have any empties up there. They the dispatch told me to go grab an empty up there and then uh, go over to Calgary, Alberta. But unfortunately, they didn't have any empties up there, so. He told me just to go ahead and bobtail over to Calgary and uh, go pick up a, a preloaded trailer up there and uh, bring it back to Winnipeg, Manitoba. So we'll go ahead and do that. I just left uh, left Madison Hat here now, so I know it's already midday for me, but uh, yeah, well, I, didn't, I guess I didn't have anything before before this time for me, so. Oh well, at least that gave me some time to clean up the truck. I vacuum cleaned in here, I wiped off the dashboard, I cleaned the windshield from the inside, did all that stuff, you know, had breakfast, got all of that stuff done, so now we should be set to go. Alright, we'll see what uh, what's going on today and uh, we'll try and film it and then uh, see you then. Alrighty, just finished uh, picking up my trailer and went over to the Husky up here in Calgary, Alberta and uh, fueled up and took a shower and now I am on my way to BC you know they call it British Columbia but here in Canada we call it BC I'm going to go to uh, Langley BC which is in the uh, Vancouver area so they th uh, things changed on me, the dispatch changed things on me. He, uh, he called me and he asked if I would do him a big favor. He said uh, one of the other trucks, he said the uh, driver's having problems with his truck so he couldn't go to BC. So he asked me if I would do it and I said sure, why not? Give me some extra miles, you know. So here we are, going to go to BC. I think I've only been once in BC this year so that's going to be going to be nice uh, going to uh, to BC. You know, uh, you're going to see a lot of mountains up there. I'm sure. So uh, we'll we'll try and capture everything, and uh, we'll see what happens. Have a look at these big mountains up here. I am in the mountains, going to Vancouver, BC. That's beautiful, eh? Look at that. That looks like we're driving right into the mountain like that, eh? We are going around the mountain, but obviously it looks pretty good. At least it looks good to me. I don't know about you guys, but definitely looks good to me. I love it. Love going up in this area here, except for winter time it sucks, but summertime it's beautiful. Have a look at that. Like that, around coming around the bend like that. That's just beautiful going in between the mountains, you know. Just have a look at these beautiful bridges. I love it. They're beautiful design, eh? We are going to go through a bunch of tunnels later on yet, so hopefully uh, I'll go through there tomorrow and then I'll go through there during the day, I hope. If not, then I'll film them on my way back, but uh, hopefully I can go through there one of these days uh, during the daytime, so that way I can show you guys. Uh, these are definitely Rocky Mountains. You can be assured of that. I am entering British Columbia right now. Crossing border, entering British are. Columbia. Yeah. Changing yeah, time right. zone. Alrighty, just entered uh, British Columbia. And this is where we gotta do a brake check up here. We have to do this. This is the first brake check up here and uh, going into uh, British Columbia. I think they got five of them going uh, all the way to Vancouver. I think there's two or three of them on the way back so uh, anyways let's go do the brake check and uh, we'll see what happens. This big truck up here he re did not hold up to the brake check that's illegal if he get caught by a cop like that that's a huge fine I know a friend of mine did that once and a cop saw that and you are in deep trouble if you do that if you don't stop here for a brake check so if you go down this road, please do it. Otherwise, you're gonna be in trouble. 
I just have a look at that. Way down there at the bottom, that's where we're gonna be in a little bit. And just have a look at how tall these mountains up are up here, you know? I mean, just going down between the mountains up here, that's just a beautiful view, you know? I just love it. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it too, riding along with me and get to see all the things that I get to see, you know? Well, there you can see, it just keeps going down and down and down and that's why we are supposed to do a brick shack up there just to make sure our bricks are in good working order, you know? Like this guy had me here, he failed to do, you know? But, I guess that's his decision, not mine. But uh, if his brakes were all of a sudden to go bad, then, you know, he could kill a lot of people. I am just coming down the 10 mile hill, they call it, and just have a look at how beautiful this is. We got a runaway line up here, and uh, they cut through the mountains through here just to make it easier for us truckers so we can go down here, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's beautiful, I guarantee you that. Just have a look on how beautiful it is. Up and down, zigzagging, going around the mountains, you know. Just have a look at this. This is extremely dangerous around these curves up here. It's just before Golden, just before we come into Golden. And uh, they got about a 500 foot drop on the right here, or on the left here. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it very good, but uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a big drop off over, over to the left up here. And we're going to go downhill here up in a second, but we got these big screens up here on the right on the rocks here. Just uh, keep big rocks from rolling down the mountain to, to, to hit you or whatever, you know. That's supposed to help protect you a little bit. It's supposed to protect you from having the rocks come roll right on top of you, you know. I'm sure they're doing their job. But, uh, yeah, I just figure I'll leave the camera on here for a little bit. Maybe I'll put some music in there or whatever. And, guys can see what it is like going down the mountains, Rocky Mountains, you know. You should be able to see that a little bit better on here on the camera, on how big of a drop off it is up there. We are literally going on the side of the mountain right now. Should be able to pull her into golden here in a little bit. It's only like 10 clicks away or so, or less than 10 kilometers. So we'll, we'll call it a day, I think, once we get there. We'll continue on tomorrow with our journey. Now, look at this how sharp of a curve these are, eh? Uh, you better follow the speed limit while you go down this road. I guarantee you, you, you wouldn't want to go too fast around this curve, otherwise, you'd be. And then up at the, bottom, at the bottom of that uh, hill down there, you know. <laughs> and that wouldn't be much fun, would it? I can't imagine. But yeah, we'll see you down on the bottom, Golden. Look at that, we are still going downhill. Way down there at the bottom is where all the people live. That's Golden, BC. And right behind it you see the humongous mountain, you know? It's just beautiful how the sun shines over uh, over top of it, right up there above the mountain there, you know? Look at that. Way down there, that's, <laughs> that's where the people live. That's how big, that's how high we are. We come down a quite a bit already, you know? But anyways, we got the husky down there at the bottom and that's where we are going to call it a day. Just have a look at that beautiful cab over truck up here, you know. That looks beautiful, nice nice Freightliner. Have a look at the mountains in the background up there. And this is where I'm parked over here. They, uh, they allow truck parking on the side of the road up here, so that's what we do. 
Look, we got the Tim Hortons over there at the gas station. We could go to. Well, I'm not going to today. Maybe tomorrow morning. But anyways, I'm going to cut this uh, for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow at 5 a.m.